Alrighty, so we're gonna go over uh, different types of muscle. This is our skeletal muscle model. This is three muscle cells, one, two, three, so it's kind of a fascicle. This is smooth muscle, and there's uh, six or seven clustered together. And this is our cardiac, and it's distinct in that it has a branching pattern, okay? Diameter-wise, it's about the same as skeletal. And you can see that the diameter of smooth is much smaller. So it's a much smaller cell. Much smaller cell. All right, so let's go over the aspects. We'll look at the skeletal one. All three share the same characteristics or parts on the external surface. So this is the membrane right, of the cell. This is the sarcolemma in orange. It's the cell membrane for each cell. Inside would be the organelles. Outside, you see the red. Those are capillaries. Every cell of the body, especially muscle cell, must be connected to a capillary. The capillary is what supplies the nutrients to the cell. Right? You see them in all the models. This white structure here a little bit of, well, that's capillary with the paint off. This white structure here ending at this brown junction point. This represents the motor neuron, all right? You have it here. Motor neuron and there's the junction. You have it here. Motor neuron and then the junctions. Right, so they all have motor neurons. Again, every muscle cell must be connected to a motor neuron. The motor neuron is going to send the signal from the brain to the cell to tell the cell to contract. Right. Now, the capillary, the motor neuron, and in, for our purposes, and I'm not saying that this is 100% correct or you'll get the same information everywhere, for our purposes, these blue things these kind of faded blue things, blue things, we're referring to as myosatellite cells. Just to keep with our discussion of what is on the outside of the cell, the myosatellite cell. So, the myosatellite cell, the capillary, the motor neuron, is held in position by this covering. This is the fascia, this is the connective tissue covering that covers and surrounds the entire cell holding those structures in place. Endomycium, endomycium. And of course, this covers the whole cell, right? They, they've just cut it and shown you a little section of it, but it covers everything. Endomycium, all right? So that's outside. Now let's just jump ahead for a moment to this guy. Right? which basically is a chunk. Right? If we take a chunk of this skeletal muscle cell, here's the chunk. There's the inside and the outside. Here's the sarcolemma, here's the sarcolemma. The reason I do that is because you'll see a repeat of some of those structures here on the outside. Here's the endomycium. All right? Here's the motor neuron. And here's where it has its junction point with the cell. Right. This doesn't have capillary present. And oddly enough, this is a motor, uh, is a myosatellite cell. And this is a half of a myosatellite cell. Right. So similar ideas. Now, a couple things about the motor neuron and the junction point. The motor neuron ends, and you can see specifically on this model within the brown, little tiny branchlets coming off of the motor neuron. Those little branches are called telodendria. All neurons end with telodendria. The brown, the coloration, is there to represent where the motor neuron meets the sarcolemma. The brown represents the special junction point known as the neuro 
neuromuscular junction. Neuromuscular junction. Neuromuscular junction. Okay, and that exists here, 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 here. This darker tan, orangish color represents the neuromuscular junction. These are the telodendria of the motor neuron. Neuromuscular junction. Unfortunately, the myosatellite cell and the telodendria are the same color in this model. But this is a telodendria. This is a myosatellite cell. It would have been nice if they made it a different color. They did not. So the neuromuscular junction is where the motor neuron and the muscle cell meet, where the motor neuron transfers the signal from the brain to the cell, telling the cell, time to contract. That's what's going on here. Okay, and here's a little tiny neuromuscular junction for the smooth. Here's a neuromuscular junction for the cardiac. So that's all happening outside. Inside, there's not much to talk about with regard to these muscles. The black are the multiple nuclei found in skeletal, multinucleated. The grooves, the lines are the um, myofibrils, the thin filaments, the thick filaments. Not much to see inside on these. Okay, here's a, a nucleus. Uh, we're just going to keep it simple and we're going to say these are nuclei in purple and you can see that there are myofibrils in there also.